Welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 15 of Laws of Attraction. And this is the pre-finale chapter because at the end of this chapter, they sort of confirmed that this is the next chapter is going to be the last chapter of this Laws of Attraction book one. So far, that's what we know. Now, we know what happened in the last chapter. We were attacked by a gunman. Sadie was acting weirdly and... In this chapter, we know that Sadie has called us to pull out of this case, but we don't want that. And we know our love interests, Gabe, Aslin, they are also going to be there with us. And then we also, when we gather in the Gabe's office, we also hear Sadie and Bo approaching. We sort of, he listened to Eva's drop to their conversation and we see we hear that Sadie and Bo were having an argument now here's a little backstory throughout this chapter you'll get to know Sadie loved her sister and Bo is her son but Bo's mother Sadie's sister died until uh, since then Sadie's been taking care of Bo and Sadie loves Bo and going guy this whole thing is really risky and dangerous Sadie wants him to pull out of this case too she doesn't want to put him in the risk zone and that's what she wants for Bo but Bo wants to develop as a lawyer and he thinks that if he pulls out of this case he'll be a coward but he doesn't want that and in this chapter you know we'll hear Bo telling our main character that our main character sort of inspires Bo and this group it has taught him how to fight and how to be a good lawyer so that would that we would see now Sadie comes in says that she can't pull out of this case because certain someone and that's definitely Gabe that's why he was smiling and he was calm about pulling out of the situation because Gabe did something about the money thing that if Sadie pulls out of this case then uh, Magra Brand is going to get into a loss potential loss in terms of money so that can't be done so now if anyone wants to pull out they can the lawyers our main character was asked by Gabe if we want to pull out or not because we've been attacked brutally but our main character definitely does not and Martin says well Martin's logic is like from Martin's point of view now this is his choice right it's risky Uh, there is death so Martin says he wants to pull out and that's logical you know so he pulls out and then we have Gigi who is well who doesn't support Martin's logic, but still Gigi thinks that Gigi wouldn't be a big help to this group, so Gigi wants to pull out anyway. So we are left with the three. But then Bo says he wants to join our group, so that's four. Then you get to work with Bo, and also Bo will invite us to a restaurant. We will go there, and we also learn that Sadie told Bo that forget about the Aliana's phone, those all the details you've learned. Why would she say that? So that's highly suspicious. And we've been given good options throughout the book, irrespective of if you choose the diamond option or not. I like that. And then we sort of <coughs> meet with Gabe and we are reviewing the files from the previous case and we're really good at work there. And then there are a lot of files and we promise not to tell anyone else because someone's been leaking the information to going. And then suddenly the lights go off and after chapter 5, after the mood court scene, for the first time we see Ryan. Remember the junior assistant there? <clears throat> I mean, I can tell you that he had a good background story. I mean, he was uh, supposed to be a lawyer, but because of money, and problems he couldn't so he would have gone to a law school otherwise and he really helped us really helped us well now that's one thing I would say is really bad that choices didn't shed light on him because I personally liked that character and would have loved to see it sort of open hearts a lot of characters uh, got that view that like for instance Ryan like characters were there but this time like Sienna for instance so I thought Ryan would be like a character, but it was not that case. Anyway, I'm <clears throat> getting somewhere else. So, then, we, when we were coming out, um, Aslin suggests us that
that we should do some additional digging like she's been suggesting us throughout the book and then we go to our apartment if you chose the apartment in the diamond scene in chapter one i believe and then we sort of uh, have one little kiss an intimate moment and then we search through the documents and we find out that there were pieces of information test reports missing soil test report water test reports we bring this to gabe and gabe thinks that well they are clearly missing and the last sign is of Sadie's. Sadie told everyone this is a really important case and no one should be touching that because things can get lost or someone can really steal this. But she said that so she can keep it to herself and to her own heart's content she can sort of manipulate it. Now it's clear but why? Now we don't inform about the Bo about this because Bo I don't we don't know like how she, he will take this so we want to do our own research first then with Gabe there's another diamond scene you go to Sadie's office and Gabe has the card the key card sort of because definitely Sadie trusts Gabe and we also see how troubled Gabe was because Sadie has been a mentor to Gabe Gabe did have potential like a lot of lawyers but Sadie saw Gabe for who he really was so it was heartbreaking for him we sort of comfort him sort of I chose Gabe so it was a more an emotional bond for MC and Gabe and then we go to the Sadie's room and we sort of pull out a carpet there we're falling down uh, sort of we tumbled on the carpet and then we sort of slided Gabe remembers one incident with the carpet before two long time ago and we find a, in a case sort of there a hidden case and from there we find a lot of things first a drive where there were information about those tests like missed test results from our previous uh, coin case and there was this Aliana's phone and a thing that literally told us why Sadie did what she did. So Cohen and Sadie, they had um, an agreement. Cohen said she, they, he would let Sadie in to a cancer sort of a program, a panel, and that that's about the whole United States cancer panel where Sadie would be in. So only top people can go there. Access and that access would be available to Sadie if Sadie can save going somehow and that's why she did what she did so that's not clear but what are you going to do are you going to let Sadie get away with this and what is going to happen with Bo and how he's gonna uh, sort of respond to this or what's gonna happen a lot of things at stake will we see Martin again I mean Martin has really dropped out of this I mean understandable he doesn't want to risk his life he's just a normal lawyer he's not here for the thrill that's understandable but this is getting pretty interesting and only one chapter left next week so like we sort of um, su suspected that it's going to be 16 chapters book and it is going to be it, it's looking that way so far this is pretty interesting next chapter so it seems like Sadie totally I mean double crossed us and then with going so in the last chapter it's going to be a big fight bringing down Sadie and uh, going but now I come to think of it there's a lot of things gonna happen right we need to confront Sadie we need to find going who is a really mysterious guy and he is sort of he has killed Aliana so there is Marcus's case you know this is the big case Marcus but it's not about Marcus is it it's about Aliana's brother Aliana's uh, you know the brother who was who was killed literally because of the negligence here of going and their neighbor and even our previous cases the little guy uh, Elijah and others so it's it's everywhere so it's gonna be either a big chapter if they want to conclude it or they need a whole new book if they wanna if they want going to get away from this or maybe there's gonna be a book too uh, because otherwise I don't want it to be rushed or like distant shores or something is you know untold for so I, I this ending should be perfect now it's this whole scenario where it stands before this chapter I was thinking in this chapter we'll go somewhere in the next chapter we will get going but now it's standing in a very sensitive point because a lot of answers remember it's, it's just not about Marcus it's about all those families and a lot of things need to be uh, ended 
perfectly not like distant shores not like foreign affairs so will we get the ending what would happen what do you think is gonna happen we'll definitely find out next week but let's talk in the comment section below i'm excited about this see you in the next video till then peace out